full throttle. All right, we got ripped now. This is good stuff. Today, RC drivers, we're taking a look at the new Charisma M48S Rally car. It's a four-wheel drive, ready to run, but the most important thing here is the body on it. Check this out. It's the 1985 Audi Sport Quattro S1 Group B car, one of the most iconic rally cars of all time, I think. Let's take a closer look. First up, I gotta give Charisma props on the box art. It looks really cool. I'd actually love to have a huge poster of this side panel here. That would look awesome on the wall. But here, let's check out some of the important features. Uh, High-speed servo, oil filled dampers, independent front suspension, yeah, we know that, tarmac spec style tires, full-time four-wheel drive, 2.4 gig radio system, full Metal Gear transmission. Actually, let me skip down to the important one. This one has a short wheelbase, 285 millimeter. The uh, Subaru that I reviewed previously here on the channel has a longer wheelbase to it. So we got a little bit of a change up to this one. Let's get it out of the box. Pop the side panel here. And first up, we've got the radio system. It looks like your typical radio from Charisma, the CTX 8000. Got your trim functions over here. Uh, plastic steering wheel, definitely wish they had a foam wheel. Four AA batteries go in the bottom. You're gonna have to provide those definitely like that it comes in this bubble wrap they do protect their cars uh, when they ship them and it looks like this one's upside down so here we go can I pull it out of the box one-handed oh look at that perfect this one is definitely all wrapped up too oh man this this looks cool already Let's slide this bubble packaging off here oh rolled it <laughs> already rolled it didn't even get it in the dirt yet and it's over on its side uh, now it's all bagged up and they even got plastic on it. I, I got to put down the camera to get this thing out. So here's the contents of the box. You got the assembled car, radio system, and it looks like some decals and instruction sheet. How awesome does this rally car look? I mean, they did a great job replicating this iconic car. They got some really cool parts that they've uh, molded for the body. Look at this rear spoiler. That thing is sick. It looks like it's almost all one piece. The side plates are screwed on, but that, I mean, it looks the part. And then up front here, they've got the molded grill and even headlights it looks like you could put leds in those aftermarket uh, unfortunately it doesn't come with it wish it did but just the lines on this absolutely cool some of the graphics are painted on the hoods uh, some of these graphics are decals so you got a mix there no clear windows on this thing a little bit of a bummer you got some vent decals on the side oh side mirrors those are molded pieces as well the only thing i noticed here well beyond the body clips wish they got rid of the body clips is the wheel wells look like they're cut a little large i, I wish they were just a, a tad small uh, just to cover that wheel a little bit more but I mean that that looks sick guys very cool check out the back of it you got the vents in the rear oh even a splitter or excuse me diffuser in the back I always mess it up I actually know what it is people I have a few people that just give me a hard time about that there's your diffuser uh, there is a foam front bumper and check out these wheels and tires they've got the, some foam inserts on the inside more of a street look to it uh, the way the the tread is but I love the uh, the spoke wheels as well very cool look to it i'm not sure if those are period correct but uh they're using what they have to replicate it all right let's get the body off and just take a quick look at the chassis i've got the body off and i can instantly tell that the wheelbase is shorter on this than the subaru version uh, take a look at the bottom of the fiberglass chassis it's got all these printed graphics very cool looking it's probably got to get scratched up but uh look at this they even have a parts finder qr code there that's probably got to get scratched as well. And, uh, oh, they've got a sticker over here. So if it does get scratched, you could do your parts finding through that QR code. Look at this uh, battery slot here. Looks like we could uh, put different size batteries in it. But the main thing here is we can now use a 3S pack in this car. With the previous version, it was technically rated for 2S as per the manual. Uh, but a lot of people were running it on 3S, pushing it. And uh, with this one, you don't have to worry about it. It is rated, in fact, for 3S. Uh, it's got an X. 60 plug on here cooling fan on the speed controller uh, a 550 size 2.0 brushless motor still haven't found the kv rating on it but definitely like that it's now 2 to 3s no worries about it now let's go over the rest of the car really quick we got oil filled coil over shocks threaded bodies on those uh, so you could do a little bit of tuning the car's got sway bars from the factory. Awesome, definitely necessary for a rally style car. No adjustable links though. I, I wish on a racing style car like this, you know, especially with the uh, the adjustability of the shocks with sway bars, they should have given us the adjustability of tie rods. Twin bell crank steering setup, and let's get into the drivetrain. So you've got a front, center, and rear differential, metal gears, ball bearings, and uh, looks like you got metal drive shafts everywhere on this. So dog bones in the rear, dog bones in the center, and in the front. 
uh, dog bones as well. Wish they gave us CVs there. Looks like we got a standard servo and uh, the receiver is protected by a receiver box. Check out those rally tires. Can't wait to shred some dirt. Let's go have fun with the rally car. All right, guys, let's get some drive time in on this thing. And I can already tell it's got way more power than the Subaru does. Look at this. Flies inside of these. That's awesome. Well, that means I can hit this jump. Look at this. Yeah, that thing flies. That's cool. All right, we're good, Charisma. I was a little worried with the, uh, the motor situation from the last one. But we're on 3S right now, and it's got some scoot to it. Love power sliding this thing. Look at that. It's got that rear squat just like an Audi. <laughs> I think oh, my first big crash. Flipped it right back over. We're good. Bigger jump. Whoa, <laughs> I had to let off. I couldn't just sail it off of that thing. Here we go, Charisma. Throw this system into the Subaru. We'll be happy. Like the short wheelbase too. It definitely allows it to turn better off power. Look at that. This thing is now a monster. Good stuff. Big jump. Yeah. Oh, throwing dirt with that front lip spoiler. We gotta do another high speed run. Here we go. There we go. Awesome. Power slide, power slide, yeah. <laughs> Rally's cool. Definitely love Rally. I just kind of wish it was bigger in my area. This is some good stuff. Oh, bank that corner. That was sick. Dirt donuts. Gotta do dirt donuts. <laughs> Front wheels are a little bit bigger than the rear. Oh, I love sending this thing. You could just send this one for days. Look at this. Yeah. Oh air under it <laughs> maybe that's why they have that big foam uh, brace in the rear help support that body oh that's cool that's cool Plenty of steering, tons of control in the power slide. A little, little understeer there, but yeah, look at that. We got the throttle response we want, 3S capability. They nailed it with this one. So with the tires that they have on the Audi, I think I should get a little bit of pavement running in and I'm gonna start off with a speed test. Nice, I've got 12 satellites. Let's get this thing started up. I've got a freshly charged 3S pack in there. Let's see what it could do. We'll send it down. 
It's got some scoot. We'll bring it back. Full throttle. It'll go right past us here. Nice. And we've got 36 miles an hour. Now this is running around the asphalt, see how it handles. We've got some understeer. Definitely like the rip of this. 36 miles an hour. I think, what do we hit? Like 18 with the, uh, the Subaru. This is pretty cool. It's got that squat in the rear still. A little bit of drift. Definitely a lot of grip on the asphalt. A lot of understeer. But here's something I want to show you. I think we got a little bit of a range issue. So if I go all the way down here, it, it, it just took off on me there. That doesn't happen often with a 2.4 gig radio system. I wonder if that light down there is causing some interference. But that's not a ton of range. Yeah, it just took off on me again there. You're gonna have to keep this thing close, I think. But I think it'll be a lot of fun road racing on the asphalt. So I think Charisma nailed it with this Audi body. Absolutely love the look of it. Very cool car to drive on the asphalt and in the dirt. Uh, I did notice that the front tires are wearing a bit in just one battery pack that was running around on the pavement here. It's quick. Finally, <laughs> this is what we were looking for from Charisma. A nice, powerful four-wheel drive car. Uh, 36 miles an hour with a 3S pack. That's very respectable for a rally car. Definitely, again, gonna be a lot of fun wherever you're driving it. A few concerns that I have for it were one, the distance of the, the radio system. I mean, it cut out on me. I could see the car perfectly fine. Um, that's something you might want to consider if you are doing some sort of long speed runs or something. You may need to switch out radios with it. The other thing I noticed was a lot of rocks collect on the inside of the chassis. There's no protection on the inside, so everything is getting thrown up into the, uh, the driveline area, and a lot of rocks collected near the rear output shaft. So that's something I wish they would address uh, on future models, maybe even come out with some sort of side to Reflectors, the, the two side tape down to the chassis and just offer that protection there. But I actually really enjoyed the car overall. If you're an Audi fan, definitely check it out. I'll have links for it in the video description below.